Peace and blessings, y'all, and welcome to another episode of DBZ Nation. Family, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video upload. Um, you know, I try to do different content um, at least once a day. So uh, today I want to talk to y'all about um, the Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Revenge. We want to talk about it today for a few minutes. I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I drop a new video. And um, you know, so I just want to thank y'all, man. Um, I've been on this journey uh now going on a couple months. Uh, we almost to 500 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who's been rocking with the channel thus far and helping us get to where we are today. I want to thank everybody who hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So, Majin Buu Saga, <clears throat> Goku's Revenge. First, I want to talk about um, some of the, the villains in the... Um, the Boo Saga. Of course, we had Bobbity, um, who was the one who released Majin Buu. And then we had Deborah. Some of y'all may remember Deborah, the Demon King. Um, you know, he carried the uh, the Dark Sword, you know. And um, they used um, the energy of Goku and Vegeta and the other Z fighters um, to release Majin Buu unto the unexpecting world. Now, what now what were some of the technologies that Bobbity had that not only she was able to control Deborah, the Demon King, but Bobbity was also able to take over Vegeta's mind. And for some of y'all who remember uh, the fight between Majin Buu and Vegeta, Vegeta allowed Bobbity to take over his body and his mind in order so he can go back to the old Vegeta, the rootless Vegeta, the Vegeta that didn't care about Bulma and Trunks. And so he allowed Bobbity to take over his body. And I remember Goku saying these words to Vegeta. I thought you were stronger than that, Vegeta. That you would allow Bobbity to take over your mind. So let's talk about some of the technology that Bobbity had. Now, Bobbity had something called a crystal ball. And in that crystal ball, he was able to um, observe very powerful fighters and uh, get knowledge of their power levels. Then, of course, he had the energy absorber uh, power meter. Some of y'all may remember every time Goku fought Vegeta when they was fighting each other, the meter would go up and up and, and, and the meter would go off the grid to eventually Bobbity secured enough energy where he was able to release Majin Buu. Now, some of y'all may um, disagree with what I'm saying. You may have a difference of opinion. And if you do, please share that in the DBZ Nation comment section. So, there was a point in the Majin Buu saga when we saw Goku for the first time turn Super Saiyan 3. 
There was a time in the Majin Buu saga when we was able to witness Goku transform into Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. And I have to say probably one of Goku's, one of my favorite Goku's transformation right next to um, um, when he merged with, Ve with Vegeta and became Gogeta. So that being said, you know, I just wanted to come up here just for a few minutes and just talk about it because I thought this was a very important topic that the DBZ Nation uh, might be interested in. And um, y'all let me know in the comment section if you got an idea for some new videos that you may want to see. I'm going to be releasing some new content on this channel probably once a day or at least once every other day. So you want to stay tuned for what we got. Uh, peace, blessings to everybody. And thank you for watching this video. And I will see y'all again on another DBZ Nation video. And I want to say this last thing about the Boo Saga. Ultimately, Vegeta ended up sacrificing himself in order to destroy Boo. But even with him doing that, he still didn't have enough power to ultimately eradicate Boo. Boo was able to regenerate like nothing ever happened. So when we witness Goku become Super Saiyan 3 and give us that amazing fight, I must say it was a sight to see. It really was. Then, of course, we all know how um, Majin Buu met his end. You know, you know, he ended up transforming into the fat Buu, the real nice one. And that's how they went. But hey, what say you in the comment section about this video, family? I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all again on another video. Peace.